What's going on YouTube and thanks for coming back for another video. Alright guys, so I know it's been some time since I uploaded my last video. And if you guys remember, my last video was actually me attempting to fill in these bare spots back here. And as you can see from the looks of it, uh, I didn't have too much success. Um, there is some growth, not very much. I'm going to try to see what the point right here. Right here, that's probably the only spot that actually grew some grass. But um, there's actually quite a bit of reasons why that happened. So let's go take a look and I want to explain those reasons. All right guys, so here's a couple of little areas that actually did get um, new grass. Not very much, but it did get some. So you got this little area right here. And as you can see, it's still very, very little. And then this little area over here probably got the best. Not much, still a little patchy, but it is the best area out of all of them that I reseeded. And you can see there's still grass still coming up. So I think um, why a couple of reasons why it wasn't that great was number one, when I reseeded, if you guys remember, I used this tool right over here. And the way I did it was I would loosen the soil up like this, throw the seed down, and then go over it with this tool. But the, the seed was not covered with nothing. So what ended up happening was I think most of my seed was eaten by birds. Um, in the beginning, I showed a clip of one bird eating, but there was actually a couple mornings where I would, would it, um, <clears throat> sorry, where I would wake up, and there would be about ten birds all right here, just eating away all the seed. So I think that's one reason, probably the, probably one of, the, I would say the main reason why um, I didn't get that great germination this time. Uh, probably the second reason would be um, the past couple of weeks, it's been pretty windy. So what ended up happening was when the sprinklers will go on, water will go everywhere except on the grass basically. Water will just fly away. And um, because also it's been windy, it, it's actually been drying a lot of these areas out pretty good. So I would, you know, I would do my best when I get home from work, I would come out here and you know, water manually with the water hose, but it's not the it's not the best, I guess you can say. So yeah, guys, I think that's probably the main reasons why did not get great germination throughout the yard. So I mean, I'm probably gonna leave it like that till, like I said, to the beginning of next year. I would say more like ending of February. I'm probably gonna just reseed everything again, but this time for sure I'm gonna be covering that. Cause I don't want the birds eating it again. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot more um, success this time going around. So. But um, yeah guys, I just wanna show you kind of like a quick little update. See how everything's looking. I mean, the grass itself, it's already well established and looking really good. I don't know if you can tell in this video or not, but it's a nice, beautiful, dark green. I'm actually going to cut it right now at the end of this video. But yeah, guys. So that's how everything's looking back here. It's coming along, but unfortunately because of my error, it wasn't as uh, great as germination as I wanted it to be. But that's all right. So uh, beginning of next year, I'm going to make sure I do everything properly. And it's going to fill in very nicely. But um, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.